everyone welcome back to my youtube to our youtube channel thanks to all our subscribers if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button immediately and hit the like button if you enjoy watching this video as you watch so i'm going to be um teaching us how to tie how i tie the trending book gilly do you understand so the first thing i did with this gilly is to fold into two unequal parts making one side longer than the other Remember, I am tying with no pin. I am a no pin. <laughs> I am a no pin gilly tie. If you have not watched uh, any of my gilly uh, tutorial, you can go and watch. I'll be dropping the links uh, in the in the description box. So now this is what I'm going to do. I just try to ensure it's folded the same way to the other side. That's it's a two on the equal side, making one side longer. And the next thing is to place it on my head. So placing it on my head, I made the closed part down, then the open part up. As you can see, the closed side is down and the open part is up. Now next thing is I'm going to make one hand longer than the other. Making one hand longer than the other. Then I'll flip the shorter hand inside, making it go down and the longer one up. Just like this. The longer hand is on up, and the shorter down. And next thing I want to do is I want to make pleats. Actually, making this pleats is not really compulsory, but just to make the gilly look finer and neater. Do you understand? So I just decided to make pleats. Yeah, people make a lot of people make pleats and some don't at all. So but I've decided to make pleats to make the gilly come out neater and um, finer. So I'm making pleats. I'm just trying to ensure that the pleats is neatly folded. Like I used to say, you can make as many pleats as you want. But I think for this gilly, I made just two pleats. Now the longer hand is what I want to do now. I'm just trying to stretch it out. Now, this is the reason for making it on equal the other time. I want to close up that end. Do you understand? I want to close up the part I made um, one side longer than the other. So, next thing is to fold into bigger folds from up. Can you see? I'm folding into bigger folds from up. Because that is, that, that's the hand I'm going to use to make my bow. So I'm folding into bigger folds, and I'm just trying to ensure it's um straight and um the same. Do you understand? That's why I'm pulling out from down so that the two parts can meet and close and close up. Now the next thing is to press from up. So I just pressed it from up down. You just press that folded bigger fold from up down and then you roll this the shorter hand and flip it over it to hold it down. You understand? That folding down, that pressing down that I did the other time. So people use pin to fold and pin it down. But I just pressed down and and I took the shorter and then I placed it under the gilly. Now, some people will use pin for this hand to pin it down at the back of the ghillie ball. You know, remember, I'm the no pin lady, so I just put it under the ghillie. And next thing I did was to um, arrange my bow. So, I'm just trying to pull out the bow. Pull both ends out so that it can come out fine. Mm, I'm just trying to arrange... Yeah, I saw that that was not okay, so I tried to close the back, close it back, and then I'm just arranging my bow to ensure it's come out fine. So this is it. Now, imagine if it's going to be a bigger gilly, it would have been bigger. The bow would have been definitely bigger than this. So this is how I make my bow gilly. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So be looking fine. <laughs> Thank you for always watching. Thanks for watching. Now, going to the next gilly. How to tie this Zara cap gilly. You have been in the trending Zara cap gilly. Now, this is it. What I did is, um, I folded the gilly into, uh, how will I call it? Equal 
equal lines abi equal folds eh uh -huh. my girl has this a uh, double pattern distance so it made it easy for me to be able to um fold i'm doing what i'm just trying to do is i'm trying to ensure that the folds are equal understand so this is me folding it because it's as you know the the gillets heading into um lines equal patterns let me put it that way so i'm trying to follow the pattern so you just what i'm just trying to do here is whenever you want to tie you just ensure that um it's folded into equal folds you understand so that's what i'm trying to do here just ensure you fold this way i'm also going to tie this one without pain mm. yeah my ensuring it is very very it is neatly folded so that it will look more like the cup so ensuring it is neatly folded uh -huh. so after doing that this is it then i placed it on my head putting the folded parts in front of my head can you see i moved it to the front not placing it on my head like no usual way of placing gilly then i made the ends one two unequal ends the shorter one being flipped like the other way we tied the fan then after flipping it i made the longer one up now see how i'm pulling it up to make it look more like a cow do you understand so this is how to tie the there are different ways to tie actually but i think this is the simplest and fastest now I now took that shorter one and rolled it around and tucked it in. Can you see? You can actually leave it this way. And it's still fine this way, very fine this way. Then you can, then you can also pick up the hand and then you just fold it. Just fold it, fold it like roughly, make ruffles. You understand? What I did was just to fold it and make ruffles, then put it into one kind shape like that. Then the next thing is that and I tuck it in. This is where people use pain actually, but remember I'm the no pain lady. <laughs> so then you take the other side and tuck it in that way. Just look for a place to tuck it in. The next thing is to arrange the ruffles. So <laughs> my Zara cap girl is ready. Just as simple as that. I you rock your gilly. You rock your cap gilly please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and like this video 